Hi everyone, welcome to my video of my monthly empties for June and July. Uh, usually I would do these every month, but I was not around at the end of June or the beginning of, of July to do my empties for June, so I figured I'd just do them uh, with my July empties. And I don't have many empties for both months anyway, so um, let's get started. So for June, I have uh, my favorite deodorant, it's the only one I buy, it's the Dove Go Fresh Cool Essentials Cucumber and Green Tea Scent. So this is my deodorant, I always buy this one, I love it. It's been in my monthly empties before and you'll see it again, because <laughs> like I said it's the only one I buy. And I also have the Yabby Natural Finish Liquid Foundation, uh, it's an oil free foundation and it's in the shade Buff. This one I believe... I received in my Ipsy Glam Bag of this year, late winter, early spring. I don't remember which month it was, but um, it's a light coverage, which uh, was good at the time because I was pregnant then, and it really cleared out my complexion with all the pregnancy hormones in my body. So this was actually good enough for me at the time, but usually I have a lot of redness in my face. I don't know if you can see it right now because I have zero makeup on. This is the new mommy look. <laughs> so, But I really liked it. Um, the color was good for me. It worked great for me. But I probably won't buy it again because, like I said, it's not uh, as much coverage as I usually like to have in my normal complexion. Uh, face whatever <laughs> and then the Marcel cleansing cloths oil free sulfate free perfume free and hypoallergenic um, these actually worked pretty well I still needed two full wipes to fully remove the makeup when I do my usual makeup um, and sometimes a little bit of a third one so I never usually use these for full makeup removal I'll just use them for um, like just remove a bit of makeup before my usual cleanser especially when I use oil cleansers because I find you kind of need to do a two-step uh, makeup removal with those um, but yeah overall I really like these I never buy the same wipes twice because I always like to try new ones but overall these were okay so that was it those three items were all I had for June and for July I have two items two hand lotions so the first one is this mini jam jam from Itted House. Um, it smells like strawberries. <laughs> it was really good. It's kind of small, but a little goes a long way, so you really didn't need much. Um, I never repurchased hand lotions because I like to try new ones, and there are so many out there. But um, I did really like this one, though. And like I said, it smelled really good, too. It smelled like strawberries. And then the other one is... This cutesy little bird, which I have reviewed on my blog already. So it's not a big container. It's uh, kind of small, but um, this one smelled really good. This one was the apple scent. It's th There's actually four birds in this collection. It's from Itted House, and it's the I Can Fly collection. And it's four birds of endangered species. And pros, um, when you buy these, it helps protect them. I'm not quite sure how because I can't, it's all in Korean so I, I can't read Korean but I have all four of these little birds and obviously I'm saving these for toys for my baby girl because I mean how cute is this or you can save it for like jewelry or keepsakes and stuff but definitely saving this for my baby and this I really liked as well and once again it's a small container but a little goes a long way you really don't need a lot um, and I can't resist cute packaging and I mean seriously how cute is this <laughs> so that was it for July um, but I did decide to include some mascaras because these have been open for a long time and I don't use them so three mascaras that I'm just throwing out so this one is from uh, Michelle Fan. I hope I pronounced that correctly. M Cosmetics. Um, it's this was received in I believe was it an Ipsy? So this is their Lash Gallery Lengthening Mascara. Um, it was good. Sorry, it's kind of 
Um, it worked well. It did not give me raccoon eyes like most mascaras do, but it did flake. So I did end up with flakes all over my cheeks. Um, so that's why I'd never really used it. But now it's, I've used this, I don't know, I think it was six months ago or over six months ago. So it's not good anymore. This one is the Essence Stays No Matter What 24 Hour Volume Mascara, which is waterproof, party proof, life proof, and ophthalmologically approved. So this I did review on my blog as well. Um, like I said, most mascaras give me raccoon eyes. This one did give me raccoon eyes a little bit, but it was really just a little bit. So overall, this is... Uh, it w it's not my holy grail mascara, but it was still pretty good, but it's been a long time since it's been opened So it's just ready for the garbage and the other one is the Clinique high impact mascara so This one which I did review as well on the blog and Honestly, I don't remember but I believe this one gave me pretty bad raccoon eyes um, It was in my not to reuse pile so obviously I didn't like it but I'm pretty sure this one gave me pretty bad raccoon eyes I'll just have to double check my review but um, yeah I'll put links to all my reviews of these products of the ones I did review so you if you want to check them out but yeah that's it for my empties for June and July so um, have you ever have you used any of these products if you did let me know in the comments below let me know your thoughts and uh, yeah, that's it. So I will see you at the end of next month for my next monthly empties post. Bye. Thanks for watching.